Hi friends, you are most welcome to our channel Pharma Engineering. So our today's topic is evaporation rate of cooling drum. So in this video, we will see how to calculate the evaporation rate of cooling drum. And also I will tell you one thumb rule by which you can uh, calculate the evaporation rate of cooling tower within a very short time. So keep watching this video up to last. So let's start our topic. So if you have not uh, subscribed my channel till now, then please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. So our first, first of all we will uh, discuss the thumb rule. So our thumb rule is for every 1 degree Celsius of water cooling, the 0.2% of total mass of water is lost due to evaporation. That means its meaning is, if you are, this is a cooling tower, if you are uh, circulating this um, 1000 liters of water per hour from this cooling tower, this pump is circulating 1000 liters of water per hour and its uh, temperature is uh, down by 2 degrees Celsius. That means its uh, inlet temperature is 52 degrees Celsius and its outlet temperature that is uh, 50 degrees Celsius. That means 2 degrees Celsius this water is cooled down. That means our temperature is lowered by 2 degrees Celsius. So what is our thumb rule says for 1 degree Celsius temperature down 0.2% of water evaporates that uh, similarly if our temperature down by 2 degree Celsius then our evaporation rate will becomes 0.4% ok. So if our temperature uh, down will be 3 degree Celsius then its uh, evaporation rate will be 0.6% similarly for a 4 degree Celsius temperature down our evaporation rate will be 0.8 percent ok so similarly we will go uh, multiply by the 0.2 into the temperature difference ok so now we will see how to calculate the cooling uh, evaporation rate of cooling tower per hour ok that means per hour how much water is evaporated in cooling tower so this we are uh, I have derived one formula for calculating this concept. This uh, formula you will not get on anywhere in net or in, on YouTube so because this is derived by, uh, derived by me. Okay. So for calculating per hour we have to what we have to do? We have to calculate two parameters. Uh, first is pump flow rate in liters per hour that uh, pump flow is in liters per hour you will get on the pump name plate ok if, it, uh, if this uh, pump flow rate is not in liters per hour then you convert this uh, uh, flow rate in liters per hour ok and then uh, calculate the temperature difference between inlet and outlet so this is an inlet temperature and this is outlet temperature measure these two temperatures and calculate the temperature difference that is dt. So our formula is the operation rate per hour is equal to dt into q into 0 0.2 divided by 100. Okay. So we will uh, clear this concept in deep by taking one example. Okay. So our example is a cooling tower pump has flow capacity of 10,000 liters per hour and its water is cooled by 6 degrees Celsius. So here, here our evaporation rate uh, formula is dt into q into 0.2 ok divided by 100. So here uh, our dt is 6 degrees Celsius because our temperature is down by 6, uh, our water is cooled by 6 degrees Celsius. So here our dt becomes 6 and q is 10,000 that is the flow, uh, flow of pump ok. So our pump flow is 10,000 liters per hour. So we put here and we we'll solve this equation. So we will get 120 liters per hour. That is our cooling tower evaporation rate is 120 liters per hour. Okay. Similarly, if you want to calculate the evaporation rate per day, that means our cooling tower is running 8 hours per day. So just 
multiply this 120 into 8 you will get the evaporation rate of cooling tower per day if uh, your uh, cooling tower is running 12 hours per day so just multiply this 120 into 12 you will get the evaporation rate of cooling tower per day that is 12 hours okay so this is all about the video so if you like the video then press the like button subscribe the channel and share the video so thanks for watching bye bye